everybody, welcome to a summer 2014 SWAT review. My name is Kate, otherwise known as Narutaki. And I'm Alan, otherwise known as Hisui. We are from ReverseThieves.com. You can go there to get other SWAT reviews, as well as our monthly speakeasy podcast, and three plus blog posts every week. This time, we are looking at Love Stage from JC Staff, and it is streaming on Crunchyroll. And this is a BL romance for the season, and it is about this college student, Izumi, whose family is in showbiz, like his mom and his dad and like his brother and everybody is really into showbiz, but he is just trying to distance himself from it. And he's kind of become an otaku in the process, but he's kind of drifting and doesn't really have any aim in life. And he also just stinks as a mangaka. (laughs) Yeah. You see some amazing drawings in this episode. (laughs) His drawings look like the drawings that the little five-year-old girls send in that you see at the end of Pretty Cure. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he seems to have a big obsession with some magical girls show, like La La Lulu. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or Lulu, La La, whichever. It's one of those ways around. He did only like one bit of acting when he was a child and it was in this commercial that his parents were in and he sort of gets roped into being in the commercial also and it's a wedding commercial and so it's been 10 years since then and now the company who like made the wedding commercial has said hey we want to do like a 10 years later one just to celebrate it and kind of bring it back because it was really famous commercial he doesn't want to do it but by hook and by crook his parents and their showbiz manager eventually get him to very reluctantly do i kind of love the way that that happens because his brother who's like in a famous rock band like basically gets the voice actress that plays his favorite character to like do this alarm clock ring for him and that it was like I'll do it I'll do it it's so otaku yeah and of course they are re- you know the whole cast is reunited again and love comedy ensues the, this episode is so introductory that you don't even really know what like how the romance is going to go because basically when he was a kid the other the little boy that acted with him Ryoma is now like a famous actor he does commercials and all this stuff and he's like really popular and so he is really looking forward to meeting the girl again that he acted with but he doesn't know that izumi was actually a guy so in this like 10 year anniversary thing he is cross-dressing and they've kind of like hidden it so that like everybody's kind of in on it but Ryoma doesn't know that so by the end of the episode he still doesn't know that so we don't really know like we don't really know how it's all going to be set up not mm. sure. I mean, I know because I've read the manga, some of it anyway, but you speak, Al. I was wondering if it was going to be the thing that he finds out that Izumi is cross-dressing and is like, ooh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's the thing of like, oh, I always knew you were a guy. What do you call it? I don't want to, you know, if you identify as female, I don't want to, you know... Get all up in your face about it. You want to, you know, use a female pronoun. That's cool with you. Well, if you identify, once again, if you identify as a guy, even better. (laughs) I think from reading some BL, like one of the really popular kind of scenarios is that. Or if, yeah, if it was going to be also the... Classic. If you're a guy, I fall in love with just you. (laughs) Oh, I was going to say, it's more... Like, that's totally a classic in BL. Also, another one, though, is like... Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm in love with... Like, it doesn't matter. I'm in love with you. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. So that's, like, the other, I think, popular, like, Oh, well, I'm in love with you. Oh, you're a guy? Oh, okay. I didn't know that, but whatever's. I know the answer to this question, so it's not fair of me. Like, you don't know from the first episode which, like, scenario it's going to be. But the, the whole thing is very light, comes off pretty, you know, light, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of romance, because obviously Izumi and Ryoma are going to come together at some point. It was like a cute little first episode. Nothing particularly grandiose about it, but nothing particularly bad about it, so... The Ryoma came off generally charming, you know, 
a supportive guy and cool. And Izumi, I feel like, is kind of a character you don't see a lot in BL, which is, like, he's, like, an otaku. I mean, I think it's kind of... I mean, I haven't read a lot of BL, but I feel like that's not a super popular character type, unless it's, like, a new one. I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I don't have the answers. <laughs> Man, all the people who believe who are Fuji No, they're just what? like, she's faking it, she's pretending. She, I, that's, that's what I always get. But I thought it was a cute, really cute first episode, and I, I read some of the manga, and I didn't stick with it, but I might watch some more of the anime, because it seems like, like, the manga, I thought, got a little crazy town, and so... So far, it's been a little bit more even keel from this episode, so I'm interested to watch a little bit more of it. But it's a very, like, fluff romance, and if that's what kind of, you know, if you want something light to watch, I think it's good for that. Yeah, I mean, no, nothing seems super objectionable. I guess we'll see in the next episode or two how much, you know. But like you said, usually they pull back a little more because, you know, uh, TV standards and all that. So, you know, they'll probably, you know, all the love scenes will probably be a little more fade to black. Maybe, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, soap opera-y. But I think one of the nice things is that we don't often get, like, an actual BL anime. We don't get a lot of them. I mean, again, we're getting, like, a little more Yuri anime. And, then, and as much as people want to make jokes about it, we don't get a lot of BL anime. We just get, like... People who are like, oh, that anime is so BL, even though really nothing ever happens in the anime because, like, that's totally, you know, you know what I mean? It's like this. It's ship tease more than. Yeah, and so this is an actual story about a romance between two men, which I think is nice. And I, I like that we've had a little more Yuri anime, like actual real, again, same thing, where it's like, that's Yuri anime, but no, because nothing happens. And like, that doesn't, that, that's not what that is. But we've had a little more like actual Yuri anime. And now it's nice to that we're getting a little more BL anime, I think. I mean, especially if they you know, make it a little more soap opera love scene. I feel like it's a good, like, beginner if you're like, you don't want to go all the way into the deep end, but you're like, oh, what's this all about? It, it might seem a little more standard. That doesn't seem to be a lot of power issues, which I feel is another thing that turns people off. Because, I mean, I didn't read more, but Ryoma, once again, seems really nice. Izumi is a little more passive and weak-willed, but I don't feel like he's totally going to be dominated by Ryoma. They seem to, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I guess, but I feel like the power play thing is always, a, it is part of the, the genre. Like, I, I, yeah, I just, from the first chapter, it seemed exactly. more equitable. Yes, no, and we're t we have to totally judge it on this because everything, anything could change based, like, uh, again, I'm from, from the manga. But I guess like I'm always hoping for another Sekaichi Hatsukoi or World's Greatest First Love. And so, you know, I'm kind of feeling hopeful about, about this being like a fun, cute BL series. A tentative thumbs up. Everything in the first episode seemed pretty like, ah, this looks like it's on a good track. All right. See you guys next time.